Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to read you a story. Islands at, Islands at the End of the World Reading it, what do you see? Okay, let's read it. A turtle is as big as a bathtub. Giant lizards that look like dragons. Walking birds that never fly. Fish with their four eyes. Rocks like glass, so sharp that they cut your shoes to pieces. Worry pirate treasure? These are only a few of the special things that make the Garpapagos Islands different from any other place in Earth. Strange and mysterious, 600 miles away from any other land, the islands poke their bones out volcanic peaks above the Pacific Ocean. They are so lonely and at first sight so bare that people have called them the world's end. Prickly cactus grows in the cinder rock left from bubbling volcanoes. On the side of the islands where the wind blows, the rain pours and makes spongy swamps. Wet blankets of cl clouds cover some of the high mountain cliffs, hiding forests to tangled vines and trees and bushes. For the most part, the islands look as if no creatures could live there. But thousands of animals, many that are found nowhere else in the world, crowd the narrow sandy beaches and swarm through the muddy swamps and over the gluey rocks that disappear into the sea. The islands got their name from the giant tortoises, land turtles of this strange world. Galapagos mean tortoises in Spanish. You might think that the shells of these giant land turtles look like upside-down bathtubs. That's how big and roomy they are. The tortoises move around in herds, munching the prickly cactus as they crawl slowly near the ocean shore. Once, once these islands were full of these giant land turtles, there are still some left, but not so many. Hunters have killed most of them. If you ever visit the Galapagos Islands, and if you think the tortoises look scary, wait until you see an iguana. It is a big scaly lizard that looks like a dragon or a swarm dinosaur. Its claws are sharp, and its teeth are strong. Some Galapagos iguanas live only on land, and some live only in the sea. But they aren't so fierce as they look, monstrous and scary as they seem. Neither the tortoises or the iguanas are dangerous. Probably, because they have not seen many people, most of the creatures of land and air and water in Galapagos Islands are quite tame. The islands are full of amazing animal surprises. Even though very cold waters surround the islands, warm winds blow over the land. So animals that live in cold places like seals and penguins and animals that live in warm places, like flamingos, can live there. Very few animals in the world use tools for getting food. But one kind of pinch in Galapagos use a stick or a cactus spine to reach into tiny places and scoop out insects. Rare birds in the Galapagos called cormorants swim for their food and live on the ground. They never fly at all. Pirates and well fishermen have explored the wonders of the Galapagos Islands. But we might never have known much about them except the work of famous English scientist Charles Darwin. Oh, Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin had a very important idea. His idea was that all living things change little by little. Because the changing world around them, this changing he called evolution. When Darwin visited the Galapagos Islands in 1835, he discovered that there were creatures living there. They did not live anywhere else in the world. He saw iguanas that had learned to swim, and the finch that had learned to use a tool. On one
Wang Nang lent his old tortoises with necks so short that they could eat from the ground. On another arm lent his old tortoises with necks so long that they could reach up to eat from the bushes that grow there. Everything, everything he saw helped Charles Darwin understand evolution and how it works. Okay, today we know a lot about this Charles Darwin's evolution. Okay, today I read your story. Islands at the end of the islands at the end of the world. Okay, so the tortoises and iguanas. If you look at this picture, you might think it's very fierce or scared, because when I first saw these creatures, I was a little bit afraid. But they aren't scary as they seem. Neither the tortoises or the iguanas are dangerous, according to according to this book. But I don't know exactly. Okay, today I read your story about islands at the end of the world. Okay, bye. Bye.